Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a um, like a product comparison and today I will be comparing these two products. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder in Corrective Yellow and this is the Ben Nye Banana Powder and this is so hyped here on YouTube. I've had mine for about a year and I've barely used any just because a little bit of this really does go a long way. And I recently came across this um, e.l.f. powder and you guys know that I love my e.l.f. products. So I was definitely excited to try this out and then I remembered that I had my Ben Nye banana powder. So I figured I would do a video for you guys and let you guys know if maybe this is a dupe for it. So I will be doing a demo side by side comparison on each product on my face. Just so you guys can see for yourselves if there is a difference. Now the price point on these are pretty... I mean, it's not a big jump, but there is some difference. This one is $6, and I think this one is around $12 or $14. Like I said, I got mine about a year and a half ago. I, I want to say it was about a over a year ago. And I got it online, so that's another thing that kind of sucks, is that I personally have never seen them in any of my stores here. I've only seen them or known to be sold online. So yeah, that's another thing. And then I also noticed that... With the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, the powder is really yellow. Like, it's a really bright yellow compared to the Ben 9. Oop, and I just made a mess everywhere. So let me show you guys. This is the NYX, oh, the NYX, the e.l.f. one, and then this is the Ben 9. Whoa! So this is really bright yellow, and this one has a lot more, like, soft undertones. Now they're both, as you can see, very messy. So what I do is I did keep the film and I just poked some holes in it just so it wouldn't get all over the place, but it's still pretty messy. And I just got it all over my shirt. Great. So I don't know. I mean, I, I really want you guys to be the judge on this video because I, I feel like they're both really similar. I honestly love my e.l.f. one better than the Ben Eye. I reach out for it the most. That's what I've been wearing off camera and I've just been holding on to this video just because I wanted to test it out for a long time. I feel like both of them do not crease on me and I do have some pretty nasty little arruguitas underneath my eyes. Just make sure to prime your eyes. I've learned that the hard way. Prime your eyes. Moisturize them. I, when I go to sleep, I moisturize the shit out of my eyes. And in the morning, they're really nice and soft and ready for makeup. Totally off topic, but anyway, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this demo. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So enjoy the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye. So the first thing I'm going to do is just apply my concealer um, because I like to set my concealer right after I've applied it. So today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Concealer and this is one of like their newest concealers. And this is in the color 30 Light Medium which is a little bit light for my skin color and I'm a little bit tan right now. Not too much. Um, I've just been out in the sun enjoying it because... Here in Utah, we don't get much sun at this um, time around. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to apply that to the back of my hand just a little bit because it is really thick and really um, full coverage. So, I'm just going to dab that on the back of my hand. I have moisturized my under eyes just so they can be prepped for concealer. And then I'm just going to be grabbing this and taking it underneath. I'm going to take my beauty blender and then just blend out everything. Then I'm going to do my other eye. So for the purpose, obviously, of this video, I will be using the e.l.f. High Definition Powder in the color um, Corrective Yellow on this side and then the Ben Eye Banana Powder on this side, just so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. What I like to do is I like to take a little bit on the back of the lid and really a little bit goes a long way. 
And then I like to take a brush like this, which is a really nice, fluffy, pointed brush. Um, this is by a brand called Six Plus, which I got off of eBay a while ago. These are really good quality brushes. I will try to find them for you guys and list them down below, but I haven't seen them in a while. So I'm just going to take about that much. I'm going to place it right underneath my eye. And I like to bring that to the sides of my nose because they do get oily. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I personally can tell in person. This side looks a lot more like HD, very nice coverage, and it just looks really smooth. So now on this side of my underneath eye, I will be using the e.l.f. High Def Powder again in corrective yellow. And this is what it looks like. It is pretty messy, so just make sure um, to be careful with that. I like to use this to apply my powder, but for the sake of this video, just so you guys don't think that I'm like giving you different opinions with different the ways that I apply my, my, oh my gosh, my powder, I'm going to use this one again. What I did is I just kept that little film that is on top of it and I just poked a couple of holes and then that's the way that I get my product to come out. But I will be taking just a little bit as well to the lid. And again, a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to take that and as you can see, whoa, if you can see that, this is a lot more of a bright neon yellow. I will be taking some and again bringing it underneath my eye can you guys tell the difference I feel like this side looks like bright and this side still looks bright but I don't know it's just I like how this looks like really nice and airbrushed. So let me bring you guys in a little bit closer just so you can get a full on in your face look um, to see if maybe you guys can tell the difference. So let's zoom in. So this side is the Benai Banana Powder. As you can see it does look bright and it does have a little bit of that yellow tint. And then on this side is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder in Corrective Yellow. What do you guys think? In my personal opinion, I feel like they both look really similar. You can't tell that I'm wearing two different brands underneath my eyes, which is amazing. Alright guys, so that is the side-by-side -side demo of the e.l.f. Uh, high Definition Powder in Corrective Yellow and the Ben Nye Banana Powder in Banana. In my personal opinion, I think they are both really similar. And honestly, if you don't want to splurge on this, you can definitely go with this. I've been using this non-stop, I just feel like it's a little bit more convenient and again, I do feel like it is a tad bit brighter on this side from what I can see just because this one is a lot brighter, like the yellow is really bright, almost like a neon yellow versus this one is more on the soft beige yellow, if that makes sense. So if you guys haven't tried the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, I highly recommend it. It's only $6. I got mine at Walmart a while ago. I know that they have another one that has like those pink undertones. I don't know what it's called, but it doesn't suit my skin tone. So I did not grab it, but I will try to find it for you guys and leave it linked down below. So again, let me know what you guys think of this and if you can see a difference. If not, tell me which one you would buy or if you already own one, tell me if you love it or not. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with all my videos. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!